I want to take a few minutes and walk you through the new Avail for Revit add-in, which features a new project navigation feature called Project Navigator. After you've installed the add-in, if you go to the add-ins tab, you'll see the Avail Project Navigator icon prominently displayed. Clicking on that will open the Project Navigator window. The Project Navigator window is a fully dockable and placeable window at your discretion. I always like to dock mine with the built-in project browser inside Revit, so I'll do that now. I'll drag it on top of that, and now I can tab between the internal project browser and the Avail Project Navigator. Inside the Project Navigator, as you'll see, we display all of the elements within the project, very similar to the way that you can browse that inside the project browser. I'm going to use the example of searching for doors within the project and narrow that down to the families. As I open up individual door families, I can see where each has been placed within the project. So here are two instances. I'll use the instance navigator to now identify and open and find that specific instance within the project, which I see here. Here's the second instance of that particular door type. If I were looking for some interior doors, let's look for these single passage doors. I can see that there are many instances of these door types placed within the project. Again, clicking to open the instance navigator. I can also decide if I want to filter in the instance navigator. Uh, by default, it will default to the rooms, grouped by the rooms that those are located in, but you can also sort by the level. So I'm going to use the level sort to look at the doors that are on level two. You'll notice that we display for each type also what the host of that door is for your convenience. And if I click to navigate, the dialog will pop up that'll just warn you that we need to search through the project to find the best uh, occurrence of that to open and display for you. There that quickly we found that in level two. So if I wanted to place another door, I can simply grab by the type and drag over into the project and as you can see can place within the project. But now let's assume that I don't have the door that I need within the project. By simply clicking on search avail for door we'll execute the search with the last search term and look in your external library uh, for the word door. Here you can see that we found many instances within the library I can filter out looking for manufacturer's doors. I can find them within my internal library. And a simple double click takes me into that channel where I can now filter down even further, uh, looking for exactly the door that I need or want in this project. So here I'll reduce the uh, search using the Revit category door. And I'm going to look for wall hosted doors. So if I found a new door to bring into the project, a simple drag and drop action will load that into the current project. It will bring up the type selector, allowing me to load new types if needed. So I'm gonna uh, browse here. This is all searchable as well, but I can just click on the type that I need, drag that in. It's warning me that it's going to overwrite the existing uh, version of that uh, door type that's been already loaded into the project, but here we are going to load the new type, and now I can bring in new double doors to place in this project. I'm going to show you an example of using the Project Navigator to identify and isolate sp things specific to your project, like detail items. So in this example, I'm going to use CMU uh, for the ability to search for CMU within the project. You'll notice that by typing CMU into the search box, we're going to show you everything that's in the project. Um, as we've shown you before, you have the ability to filter that down then by whether you're looking for views or specific families or system families. If I clear that, uh, you can also decide to pre-filter. So if I knew I were looking for a specific uh, type of element like a detail item, I could actually apply a filter so that we're only showing you detail items within the project. And at that point, if I perform a search for CMU, you'll see that we've already pre-selected and identified only detail items uh, that meet that criteria. If you then open the rollout window, 
you can see uh, the many different types of that detail item. There were 13 of those. And looking down below, I can see that there is only one of those types of which there's two instances in the project. This is a very beneficial feature in that I can click on those two instances to open up the instance navigator and I can see that those have been used on a drafting view, which is partition type CMU, which is why we identified that on the search. And if I click to open um, an instance of that, we'll actually find that drafting view, go and open that drafting view and select that specific type that you were looking for within the project. Let's use an example of being able to search for a specific sheet. If I know I'm working on the roof of this project, I can simply type roof into the project navigator and I can now filter down by show me only the sheets that are related to roof. You'll notice that we'll highlight within the name of where we matched on that search. Uh, you'll notice here in the A903 3D views sheet though that there's nothing highlighted, but if I open up the rollout, you'll see that there are 14 different items placed on that sheet, including items that match the search for roof in here, rooftop, uh, here's a 3D view uh, named green roof, which also matched on that. Once I've identified the sheet that I'm looking for, in this case, the A106 green roof sheet, I can merely double click on that and it will navigate me directly to that sheet. The new Project Navigator in the Avail for Revit add-in allows you to view, search, and navigate all of the information within your project. Another important feature is the ability to basically combine search into a single search box for not only the items that are within your project, but those items that you may need outside the project in an external library. By searching for the word cabinet, as you can see here, we will display and find all instances of cabinet within the project. As you can see, those are both families and system families. But assuming that I need to extend my search externally, a single button click will launch Avail, open the Avail desktop, and perform a search for the word cabinet, displaying all of the available external information in my external libraries that contain the word cabinet. So as you can see here, we're now in the Avail desktop, able to search for cabinet, and I can filter looking for different kinds of information that contain the word cabinet. As you can see, the new Project Navigator, included with Avail for Revit, is an incredible productivity tool that helps users navigate their projects with ease.